The final game of round three has just finished and uh, Pragnananda won against Vidit. It was an amazing game, very double-aged, full of possibilities for both sides. So could you please take us through the key moments of the game? Uh, it was very interesting from the very beginning. Like, okay, maybe you could tell a little bit about the opening first. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I wanted to play something interesting after uh, SVS game. And yeah, th this is a very interesting line, but um, White is probably better if uh, White plays accurately. And yeah, Knight F is kind of a new, new move. Usually they play Bishop B7 and there are like a lot of games. Mm -hmm. Knight F5 was uh, yeah something that I looked at today morning. And uh, yeah, there are many possibilities for White here. And yeah, this is one of uh, one of them I looked at, but I couldn't remember. Uh, and when he played Knight X F5, and it took me s some time to uh, recollect this D6, which is very important. Otherwise, Black is uh, probably lost. Uh, there is a very interesting point here, just from a human perspective, that like here, for example, uh, it would be natural to play something like g6, but it doesn't make any sense because this knight on f5, uh, it's not actually hanging. Uh, like yeah. white can just keep it there and black cannot take uh, on f5, right? Because of queen h5. Yeah, that's true. Um, so this is like only move for white, mm -hmm. for black. And, and I remember this is already okay for black. I didn't know this queen e2 move, and yeah, this looked like a natural way to play. And Let yeah, me just, I, just ask one question here. So here uh, again, for just uh, you know, for a player of lower level, not not as high as you guys, uh, it seems like you know why not just take here, but then king of seven, king of king seven. seven, and suddenly this king just really is really safe here, and the rook comes to yeah, knight right. f six, and actually black gets a uh, very quick development, and mm. I think instead of. Um, Queen e2, e d6 also, there is queen d7, I thought. Yeah, it's... Um, yeah. And okay. here white could make a draw like d6, knight g7. Yeah, first uh, if this, then black is also okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's really strange uh, way, but that's modern chess. Mm -hmm. And here I saw that I have a draw, but my position I thought was very good. And I should um, exploit well, yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's just a draw. Um, I underestimated this queen c6 and um, from afar I had seen knight g7, bishop g7, queen h5, king d8, queen f7, but here bishop f6, knight e7 both work yeah. for black. Um, I think I can, I could play bishop g5 first. Yeah, but uh, anyways, bishop f6, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, black escapes. So... After e6, queen c6, it was not really clear how to put my pieces. Um, and black's moves are slightly easier than white's, I mm -hmm. thought, at this point. Yeah, um, f3 is one of the possibilities. Black has, like, many ideas here, but I wasn't sure which one to choose. There is long castle, there is, like, knight e7, queen d5. Uh, there are, like, many ideas. You can combine all these things, and... So, spending some time here, I couldn't... Uh, come to a decision here, but okay, even bishop g5, which is also very interesting. Uh, but how did you actually assess this position? Uh, did you think uh, white is still uh, a little better, or a uh, question for both of you? No, I did not think that white is better anymore. Mm -hmm. um, at least I did not see a way. Um, either he is like completely better, or it's fine for black, but mm -hmm, I did mm -hmm. not see how to continue. Yeah, I didn't think um, black was worse, because... I knew that uh, d6 position is fine and I made two kind of natural moves, so mm -hmm. it should be fine for black. Um, yeah, g6. Yeah, still, I don't threaten gf5, but I'm stopping uh, this knight g7 idea. And yeah, knight e3, h6. Yeah, here, uh, bishop h4, we were yeah, discussing this queen e4, bishop g3, queen e6, and like castle. And this is one of the positions, but I wasn't sure how to assess this because white wants to play c4 next. And yeah, I think I should castle long and c4. This is like a very interesting position b4. And I was seeing some queen d2. Uh, 
uh, trying to calculate something like this but i wasn't sure uh, i don't think you should castle long you can also play bishop g7 no but then i think uh, can go like rook e1 knight e7 queen d a uh, knight f5 yeah yeah then long castle now long yeah but castle. thing is I, i thought i was just not in time to get yeah, this yeah yeah probably this was better bishop e4 i played because i thought his queen e4 idea does not work in the game uh, yeah queen e4 i think white has knight c3 mm -hmm. and queen f4 knight e d5 no i think knight c d5 is better because here you can exchange queen ah yeah sorry knight c d5 sorry uh, yeah knight c d5 and uh, white is white winning. is probably winning uh, so yeah I, i thought knight e7 is clever because uh, white wants to play c4 and then go knight d5 and i'm stopping uh, knight d5 here And yeah, this is a very interesting position. I don't know how to assess it, but I felt black should be the one playing here uh, because I get easy development with Bishop G7 short castle. Yeah, so human eye somehow it looks very double edged. Yeah, it probably yeah. is double edged, uh, but I think if White does not consolidate, he has long term strategic problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is basically what happened, right? In the yeah. Game. Yeah, here White is turning knight d5. Queen C5 is, yeah, it's kind of important. We were also discussing this long castle knight D5, king B8. Yeah, king B8, and here, yeah, I was not sure about rook A5. I was looking at something like this, and I thought black can, like white can, uh, give up this exchange and. Yeah, this looks really good for white. Yeah, I wasn't sure how to assess this. Yeah, I thought queen C5 is like only move for black, and yeah, this makes sense. Actually, first I was planning to short castle. I thought this should also be good for black. Rook d1 again. Oh. Maybe I could play knight d5 or two. I'm not sure. Knight d5, I can take. Take. Yeah, yeah no, rook d1, I should play. Yeah, rook d1, maybe queen d4. Bishop h6. Ah, that was the trick. Yeah, yeah I saw long castle and thought so this is definitely better if it works. The thing is, knight d5 does not really. Yeah, here I thought it doesn't work because I can take with the queen. E7, rook D7. Yeah, E7, rook D7. Rook E1, rook E8. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to see if there is some tactics. Tactics. Queen F5. I thought you can just. Shift D6. Yeah, this was there always. Yeah, H4. Uh... I'm not sure about H4. Yeah, I mean it gives me a lot of options and. Uh... I don't know if rook d8 is the correct move, but that is logical uh, to get out of this e7 check. And also, somewhere I can attack e6. Yeah, I yeah, was looking at some g5s and stuff. But I can just take. Ah, you wanted to take? I I didn't like bishop g3 actually. This queen g5. And then I thought this is actually good for me. Yep. Yeah, I didn't rook like. Rook d1. That. Bishop, at, uh, bishop, queen e seven is also hanging. No, I can take queen e seven actually. Queen f four. Hmm? Yeah, so rook d one first. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's complete mess. I don't know. It is complete mess. So actually, how yeah. do you assess these positions when you are calculating all these lines? Like only just uh, by uh, the end of the every line, or or some general assessment uh, prevails, or how do how do you get out of all this mess in your in your head when you are at the game yeah i think it's a lot about feeling uh, and here i felt like black is completely fine because um my pieces are a bit clumsy mm -hmm. and although i'm a pawn up uh, am i pawn up Four, five, six. yeah and yeah, i think are, i am yeah. um it, it's not so easy for me to like my knight on d2 is really um, misplaced and mm -hmm. only if i get knight to d5 i have some play so i thought black is doing quite fine So it's about intuition, let's say, yeah. Yeah, I mm -hmm. guess so. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like this bishop g3. I wasn't sure if g5 bishop g3 actually favors me or not. Yeah, rook d8. Yeah, rook d1 is natural move. Yeah, I don't know if I should play knight d5. Maybe just rook e1 and. Yeah, I don't know bishop c3. Rook e2. Yeah, it looks. That be no. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, you're not threatening anything now. 
Just Bishop G3, Knight E4, slow. Yeah, Bishop G3. I thought I always have H5. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't play Bishop G3. <laughs> and yeah, I didn't see. I thought it's just good for black. Yeah, Knight D5 felt like the only counterplay. This key. And it looks like from this point, black really started to to overcome. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd get some counterplay, but probably not enough. Yeah. Now, when I played Bishop Vito, I saw till here and I thought I have this this thing, but then there's Bishop A check, which I missed. And mm. I was actually like closer to playing that. Uh, but then I realized in time that uh, it doesn't work. So I had to go this Rook G8. Yeah, which is, I think, good enough. The I thing th is, if you had played King B7 instead of King B8. But also, you can start with E7, yeah, in that case. Yeah, yeah. No, but there was a trap, like, if you play king B, king to b7. Oh, yeah, somewhere some bishop d6 was also coming out. Yeah, sure. bishop b3, queen b5, knight c4, bishop c3, then I have knight d6 and rook d5. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, can you show this place? Yeah. yeah. Here. But with king on b8, this does not But wait, mm -hmm. is it winning? <laughs> Despite this, yeah? Yeah, I think black is winning. And no, no perpetual, even nothing. Huh? Yeah. So this, oh, this yeah. line actually doesn't work. That means. Yeah, but actually in general, I was not. Uh, yeah. King on B8. Because some bishop d6 somewhere, somewhere this queen d7 was coming, and I thought bishop on b7 might be safe, like in most lines. Uh, yeah, I thought rook g8 is only move because if I take and rook comes to d4, there's always some. Yeah, like, rook d4. I thought I'm completely back in the yeah. game. Yeah. Yeah, so this is... Not sure about how I played here. Yeah, it's not easy, like... And Prague, which moment did you actually realize that you are not just uh, fine as black, uh, not just slight advantage, but you're actually going to win this game? No, I was very happy here, but then, because I thought this, uh, this line works, so I doesn't have any counterplay, but then once I realized that it doesn't work, I thought maybe it's not easy. Um, but yeah. I but still, you were very happy. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I mean, this black is much better, yeah. Yeah, rook e1, g5. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah this, this I was happy with. Maybe I can do something, I don't know. Yeah, h5 is h5. Game. I thought this. Queen G4, but yeah, Rook G7. Yeah, and Rook G7. Yeah. Knight F5, Queen B5. Queen, yeah. Yeah, here I completely lost the thread of the game. Maybe I could still play Rook E1 here. I don't know. Yeah. Rook but E8. Well, yeah, optically, it just really looks like black's pieces are all, you know, coordinated. And yeah, why, why, why they're just scattered around yeah, and pawn up, up yeah. yeah, so... Yeah. I mean, if I've pawn on e2, probably white yeah. is fine. Yeah. No, I thought this was winning at some point, but then there's always queen g3 and... Yeah. Yeah, black should be better still with rook, rook e8. And... Yeah, I have active bishop on b7 and... Pawn yeah. So knight a5, rook e5 was good. Well, maybe I should take on b7. Yeah. yeah. Rook e1 and... Okay, just play this position. Yeah, they should be trying for sure. I mean, still have to show Maybe I have some practical chances, like yeah, rook d4. Yeah, my king is weak and then so show some technique, yeah? Rook d4 and it's still not easy, yeah? Copy this. Or maybe rook c5. Yeah, but it's double-edged, like if I play queen d2 or something. Queen e3, maybe. Yeah, sure. Uh, it is... At least better is chances yeah. than what I played in the game. I... Lost the thread here. Yeah, before was bad, I think. G5 and now it's kind of over, yeah. I mean, because white is not in time to. Yeah, I can play queen g3 rope. and somehow survive longer. But even I can save the bishop. Yeah, yeah but I mean, bishop here, rook e1. Maybe here. Yeah, I mean, my knight is completely yeah. dominated. Of course, black is better, but. Yeah, definitely. At least it's not immediate collapse. 
Yeah, here maybe yeah. I should uh, start with Queen B7, but okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, Is here it's just uh, completely winning for yeah. Black. Yeah. So mm. after the game today, you analyzed a little bit in the playing hall. Um, do you often analyze together, maybe mm. share some ideas? I understand that not in preparation to this tournament, obviously here your rivals, but in general. Yeah, in general, uh, we do. I mean, not like when we are at home, which is like that. But whenever we play, I think we discuss our games. And in team tournaments also, we... Yeah, we generally discuss. So you uh, kind of sh share ideas sometimes, work together? No? Or? I, I wouldn't say work together, but just uh, speak. I mean, mm -hmm. it's very normal to analyze the game after it's done, especially when there is like, it was so complicated. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the players are quite tired, so let's just take a couple of questions and uh, then let them go. So uh, who would want to ask a question? No? Okay, in this case, thank you very much, um, and we we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you.